In this video, we go to look how dozen supersonic cruise missile works, such as BrahMos, and we look at all the components of the missile. Let's start with some brief introduction of the missile. The BrahMos supersonic cruise missile is considered to be the world's fastest cruise missile, at the moment with speeds of around 2.8 times the speed of sound, that means 1 km per second. Let's jump into the technical details. This is the nose cap of the missile. They serve as protective covering for a missile, and at a certain point it's no longer needed. Let's take a look inside the missile and explore each part of the missile. At the nose of the missile, there is a seeker is located. The seekers are essential to the missile's effectiveness and make it possible to acquire and track ground and air targets. The technology it has perfected, thermal imaging cameras, infrared imaging, platform stabilization, high precision inertial navigation, etc. This is the controlling system. The missile control system keeps the missile in the proper flight path by receive command from the navigation system. The warhead, it contain explosive or toxic material for destroy the target. These are the fuel bladder. The liquid fuel are stored in this bladder. These are the combustion chamber. The air fuel mixture are burning inside the combustion chamber. These are the solid propellant. Here is the question. How does the missile hit the target accurately? It can achieve with the help of sensors and other onboard equipments. Let's explore it. With the help of sensors and other onboard equipments, the missile will generate a traveling path to the target On the basis of the guidance system, the missile traveling path are divided into two, the mid-course and the terminal phase. During the mid-course the missile use inertial navigation system. During the terminal phase the missile is near to the target, so it need more accuracy to hit the target, so the missile shift the guidance system to active radar homing. Let's check how an inertial navigation system work. An inertial navigation system is a navigation device that uses motion and rotation sensors such as gyroscopes and accelerometers. There is three gyroscope sensors for measuring or maintaining the orientation and angular velocity of the missile, such as yaw, roll, and pitch, and the three accelerometer sensors for measuring the proper acceleration of the missile. Then these all information are sent into an autopilot computer, and the computer send a commands to the guidance electronics. The guidance electronics use the aerodynamic surface to steer the missile with the help of fins Let's see how an active radar homing technology work. Active radar homing is a missile guidance method to find and track its target autonomously, in which a missile contains transmitter and receiver. The missile transmits an electromagnetic radiation to the target, and these radiation are bound back to the missile receiver. Some electronic equipment measure the time taken for receive the signal and also measure the velocity, acceleration, distance and other variables of the target. Then these information are sent into the autopilot computer. Then the autopilot computer steer the missile on proper way for hit the target accurately. Let's check what happens after launching the missile. This missile had two stage propulsion system, solid and liquid propulsion. During first stage the missile is powered by solid propellant engine. Approximately after 9 seconds, the solid propellant engine are fell down. And then the missile is powered by ramjet engine. Let's explore how an ramjet engine is works. During the high velocity of the missile, the atmospheric air will enter into the missile at high pressure. Then the compressed air will goes to the combustion chamber. In combustion chamber, the fuel are sprayed by the fuel injector with the help of igniter. The air fuel mixture is ignited. Due to the ignition, a combustion takes place. Due to the combustion, a force or thrust will produce in opposite direction. This thrust propels the missile. Then the missile hit the target. If you like the video hit the subscribe button and enable the bell icon for future videos. Thank you for watching.